Hey, what's up? I'm Cleo Sim. The most procrastinating simmer here on YouTube, bringing you another video in a timely fashion. <clears throat> so where have I been? Um, I've been sick, so that's why it's taking me a little while to get all the videos out this year, the new videos anyway. Uh, we're, we're not forsaking any old um, stuff. We're still going to be playing Decades and Upgrowth and Parenthood and um, Sims 3 Ultimate Ch We're still doing all of that, but I decided I'd bring some new stuff to the channel for 2019. Uh, here is another Sims 4 Legacy Challenge. I know you guys are like, man, that is all you ever play. But this is a new one. This is called Family Dynamics. It's kind of like not so berry in that the generations have stuff they're supposed to complete before the next generation comes along. I left a link in the description where you can find more information. I'm not going to do a lot of uh, intro stuff because I, I've i done enough of that. <laughs> Most of you who watch The Sims know what's going on anyway. You just need particulars. And like I said, there's a link in the description for that. I will be... Um, reading off what's going on for this generation that is also in the description um just so people know what's going on when they watch the video so it's family dynamics and like i said it's kind of like not so berry challenge in that you you just have stuff you're supposed to do so we've got our founder and this is the founder right here her name is madeline lawrence and this is going to be her her husband later on uh, I stuck them together because I didn't um, I didn't want them split up this this world I think this is Newland Hills uh, when I edit this I'll be able to give you a, a definitive answer probably right here uh, but the town's already populated it's already full there's already houses um, this lot was empty I, and I built this lot here uh, there's a few more empty lots, but I was like, yeah, just stick them together. It's okay. They're not, they're not married. You don't, it's not like she's actually starting out, um, her life with someone. I did not fix the relationship yet. So they're not boyfriend and girlfriend currently, but we will, we will fix that. So here is Madeline Lawrence's information. And, and, and like I said, the general rules are in the description it says begin with a single sim i'm i'm not really doing that um the cheats you guys know mc command center is okay um the free real estate now i went and i know that when i was building this i did mother load twice so this is a pretty expensive house you're allowed to do that um custom saves allowed i said that's in there uh, it says each career and aspiration should be completed unless expressly stated otherwise. Uh, I'll get in more of that as we go on with the challenge and have fun. So there's only six general rules. That That's great. So generation one is called white picket fence. From the time that you strike out on your own as a young adult, you dream of cultivating loving familiar relationships as rich and unique as the dishes you love to create. You marry younger than some of your friends, raise a bundle of children, and enjoy gardening and entertaining in your spare time. Yet you still devote a portion of your life to your hidden dream of becoming a master chef. So her traits are outgoing, foodie, and family oriented. Her aspiration is successful lineage, uh, culinary career, master chef branch. Um, complete at least five gold dinner parties, master cooking and baking, marry as a young adult and stay happily married until death do us part, have three or four children, maintain a garden with at least ten unique plants including a cow plant, complete at least three-fourths level of the aspiration. Upon completing level five of the culinary career, you may also choose to leave the career and open a restaurant. Um, instead, that is all the rules. So I like that. I was like, oh, so basically I can just pretty much do whatever I want. Uh, make sure she finishes what she's supposed to finish. I, I love having a bunch of kids. So, you know, fun, fun. Uh, that's her. Devin is the Springer part portion of the 
let's play here that's why it says the springers uh, when they get married that's what she will be he is a kleptomaniac y'all um uh, don't know how that's gonna play out but whatever anyway this is the lot i enjoyed putting this mailbox here right here on the porch i hope the mailman can reach it i built this i know you guys are probably like cleo you don't build you, you got that right because it takes too long and that's part of where uh, <laughs> the other thing where have you been i've been building this um if you're sick you're not going to sit at the computer for very long which i didn't but for the time i spent sitting here i built this so we're just going to have a little tour. Let me see if I can get the... There we go. I went to do this video. I've done this video a couple of times. <laughs> the first time I did it, I had an issue and uh, found out something's wrong with my Windows. My computer... I had to reinstall Windows. I've lost uh, a lot of information like... Uh, the book for the bakers for the upgrowth and the um, decades and, and st I have I, I've lost a lot of information I will have to redo quite a few things but you know whatever it's whatever then some stuff maybe didn't need to be done anyway um, when I did the video last time I was like how come I can't see in my house because I forgot to put the camera back so this is the entryway uh, I do try to build like everybody else but <laughs> for the most part I build room by room so I built this room first this is the entryway then I came over here and did the dining room uh, I found this lovely wallpaper and the rugs to match I did the kitchen this is one of my favorite rooms in the house I think it's really pretty in here and I like my archways that are all through the house. This is the library. If you go through this archway, you're in the laundry room area. You make your way over to the living room area. There's a bathroom over here. Go upstairs. This is their bedroom. This is just a little makeshift closet I made. This is their ensuite. Here's another bathroom. And what I did was I built a nursery but I was getting tired because I wanted to play and so this is uh, gonna be a bedroom or something and the same thing may happen over here but it's like it's okay if you don't finish because I haven't had any kids yet so this is what one two three four 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 bedroom house maybe three bedroom house it depends then I went and um, you go out here and I did do something I've been wanting to do for a long time. Here it is. Now I didn't put the ivy on it. This is lattice work for the porch. I've always loved to watch Sinners do this. I actually did this. I was so happy when this happened. I was like, yay! And of course, having a um, and uh, you being able to look downstairs from the from the top, I thought was really nice too. So you can look into the foyer the foyer uh yeah it took it takes me it takes me a long time to reno and the last house i renoed was a house for iman and dirk dreamer and i didn't build it i renoed and it still took me all day this took me a few days to get done but i'm quite pleased with it i mean uh i was able to like I said, do stuff I've seen other simmers do in videos and uh, like the lattice work and stuff. It all worked out really well. Here's going to be her garden. I don't know if that's going to be enough room for her 10 plants, but we going to try. We going to try. I don't want to take all this stuff because I want to be able to put like a swing set over here. Anyway, there you go. That's the house that I built. And yes, it's on the gallery if anybody's interested. Um, that house I went to. <laughs> Kendrick and you know who you are he was interested in it and I had to put it on the gallery so if Kendrick is interested in this house Kendrick it's already on the gallery it's called Springer house if I'm not mistaken it's already up there um, as is as is so um, just so y'all know there is custom content all over the place all over the place um, so 
be mindful of that when you go to download it it's custom content all in it anyway so oh I didn't have to because I fixed the window I didn't have to uh, go into build by mode yay so guess what we get to do y'all we get to have a little bit of gameplay yes we do yes we do um he is a painter now here's the thing <laughs> He, we don't have to really worry about what Devin's got going on, um, because it's more, it's more about her and her kids, but you know how it goes with, uh, challenges. How is it she's on the computer this time and he watching TV? That weird. That's weird. So I probably need to get him an easel. I might stick it in one of the empty rooms or I could stick it probably like right here in the middle of the floor over here or something like that it is such a big house um not too big but like i i don't know if i said but i i did mother load like twice <laughs> and here's what's left after that so there you go i think i'll just go ahead and set him into the painter career because why not I had him in the tech career at first, but it's like, mm, he's a painter. He's also a kleptomaniac, so I don't know how that's going to work out. So we're going to do painter. And then for her, uh, get off of there. There, thank you. I'm not sure how many of you guys um, play Sims. Where am I? Sims 3. Now I have Chef. For some strange reason, I got this. This we're not doing this. Culinary. <laughs> culinary. In case you guys have the Chef career, culinary. Anyway, um, this living room is uh, from the Sims 3. Somebody um, converted it to Sims 4. So, I like that. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to get her some books. Because, remember, she has to max baking and cooking. It didn't say she had to max gourmet cooking. But I'm probably going to stick that in there. It didn't say anything about that. But, you end up with a gourmet skill in the end anyway. So... That's probably part of the rules, but maybe it was forgot. They forgot to add it. I don't know. Okay, so she's got some books in there now that she can read. I'm going to have her start reading the cookbook, and I will have to get him. The reason how come the library is empty? I do not know which one of them, or if the kids or something like that, are going to be involved in the uh get famous stuff so like you know sticking the vlogging um things in here i mean it's a big house we can stick a lot of stuff a lot of places um and there's really not all that much room because i did stick in i guess i could get rid of one of the libraries but it'd probably be one over here but yeah i left this uh it was totally empty and i put the computer and the, the couch in because I was like well you know some there has to be a computer in the house right so so we're going to get him an easel and where are we going to put it that's a good question <laughs> it seems like it might have to go upstairs in this hallway that's probably where it's going to have to go. It's not going to be um, like a lot of gameplay. You know, my video videos are usually 20 minutes or less, but I thought it'd be nice to actually, instead of like what I do with the rainbow, rainbow, the random legacy, um, Instead of all of it being about 
No, we'll let him unlock his stuff. We'll let him unlock it. Instead of it being completely about uh, the rules. Yeah, we better put it like this. I decided there might be some gameplay. Because this is like the last um, let's, new Let's Play I'm going to have for a while. Maybe now I can actually start playing my games. Go back to playing my games. I'm sure you guys have missed the Decades Challenge. I know I have. I still have to put stuff together for the Grays for Parenthood. I don't have the... Basically, I don't have the thumbnail ready for that. That's it. Oh, the Welcome Wagon. I was like, aren't those people going to show up over here? Yes, yes, they're all here. Okay, so invite the neighbors in because that's what you do. What is he watching? He was watching, I guess, a movie. Okay. Now, if she knew how to cook better, she could start one of her uh, entertaining episodes. She can't have a five-star meal yet because she don't know nobody. But Bob, Bob, here. What is she doing? She's watching TV. Well, you guys do not come in my house with all your kissing. Oh, there she is with that fruitcake. Now, you guys may have noticed that, um, watch Eliza's butt. Uh, maybe she's done now. It's it's kind of popping and locking back there. Um, not too long ago, I downloaded... Um, I guess they were sliders, too. What they did was they made all the females butts big, and then they, they would, they're they popping in and out of place. Um, I got rid of that one, but I have since downloaded another slider. <laughs> that um, does that. Another thing, it's not as prevalent this time. It's not as prevalent this time, but the last video I did, Eliza's feet were really, really big. Okay, so that's the other thing. Uh, these sliders are for your hands, for your feet, your neck, you know, of course your arms and stuff like that. So um, you're not going to see Madeline's foot popping and locking so much. But as you can see, um, Eliza is shaped a little bit funny right now. <laughs> so, <laughs> Eliza is shaped funny anyway. <laughs> in my opinion. In my opinion. Alright, so. Did you introduce yourself to this guy? Gossip about neighbors. Giving that nasty fruitcake. It's a good thing. Uh, they don't have to um, cook, because you know they always bring that nasty fruitcake. Now, for the most part, everybody's kind of staying in here, and this is the parlor, foyer, entryway, whatever, where people can actually like sit and talk. But I noticed that this time, instead of putting the fruitcake here, they did stick it in the in the kitchen, which is uh. A lot better. And I'm loving this kitchen. I really do. It's so pretty in here. She may end up with two ovens. Um, as she improves her skill. Okay, well they're getting along. But their neighbors pretty much. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's... Whoops, we're about to uh, end the episode. I'm going to see if my timer, my alarm finally works now that I've reinstalled Windows. 
I must admit, stuff was kind of messed up, so... Even though I've lost a lot of information and stuff. I'll, I'll, I'll work on stuff. Let's see. Yep, it works. Okay, so here is, like I said, one of the last... Uh, new LPs that I've put out for this year. So that's two Sims Fours. We got uh, Can We Be Civil? We have this, which is Family Dynamics, and there was a Sims 3 called Random uh, Legacy. Uh, there will be a mini series that I come out with, which will be for uh, both platforms. It'll be for Sims 3, and it'll end up on the Sims 4. Um, if I can get around to doing that, of course, we still have. You know, The Sims 3 Ultimate Challenge, The Sims for Decades, The Sims for um, Upgrowth, The Sims for, um, what's that one about the, about the child? <laughs> the the perfect, the, I forget. Anyway, I've got plenty of content. There's still Parenthood. There's still the Living Life of Riley. There's all that stuff. And... There'll be some non-Sims videos, so uh, be looking forward to that as well. But I hope you guys will enjoy uh, this little gym we will have for this year. So uh, I'll catch you all later. I'm Cleo Sim, and I'm out.